Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 14 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to transform uh, layers inside of Photoshop. So if you were to go to open, uh, let me just open up a picture right here uh, that I can find over here. Let's go for pictures and let's open up a picture that I can find. All right. So once I open up a picture, I'm supposed to import that picture actually. So let me just import it. Okay. So let me just place embedded right here. All right. So you can see that I can actually resize the picture once I import it in and press OK. Uh, just press enter. So now, but if I want to resize it again, then I don't have my handles anymore. And to bring that, bring back those handles, what I can do is I can just press Ctrl T and then I can increase and decrease the size just like that. And if you want to maintain the proportion, just hold shift and you can increase the shift uh, just like that. All right. So this is how you actually use the transform. And once you press Ctrl T and right click, you actually have a lot of uh, different settings just uh, right here. So you got something like a scale that we have been using. There's rotate, which actually allows you to rotate the picture as well. There's skew, uh, which allows you to skew the picture. There's perspective, which allows you to control the perspective of the picture. There's distort, which actually allows you to distort the picture, just like that, in any angle you want. And there's finally warp, which lets, uh, lets you warp the picture into any flag-like shape, just like that. So there are other options. There's rotate 180 degree, there's rotate clockwise, and there's uh, flip and flip vertical. So there, these are different settings you can actually uh, use inside of Photoshop. So once everything is done, then it actually says place. Uh, it asks you to place the file. So if you want to cancel, just place cancel. And if you think that the transformation you want is okay, then just press place. And then it'll actually turn out like this. So, or you can press all enter at the end as well. So that's how you use the transformation tool inside of Photoshop. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. 